family the way that Scott Hunter is God's divine we are to recover this hour it is Saturday March 20th 2021 hour being 2 p.m. on Tuesday. Unite together to celebrate this hour of suffering on this hour of Tuesday. We have been blessed with all the service and we don't use that of a God now. We had a holy new test of Russia by Reverend Pamela Douglas, Reverend Robert Tina Bookman. Refreshing sister to one of boys, Sue. Solo Deacon Lewis Sim. We're all comfort you on my Sabbath. That's pretty much for the Sabbath. That's our okay. Old Testament scripture is coming from Job chapter 14, beginning at the first verse. Man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. He fleeth also as a shadow and continueth not. Down to the fifth verse. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. A New Testament scripture is coming from Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. And as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this the judgment. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. The word of God for the people of God. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Ain't God all right? If he all right, you ought to give him a hand, praise, because he's worthy of his praises. Now let us bow our head and pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come before you, God, as humble as I know how, giving you praise and giving you honor. Well, Lord, I ask you in the mighty name of Jesus to look upon this family, oh God. I ask you to strengthen them in the mighty name of Jesus. Because, Lord, I realize that you got all power in your hand. Yeah. And you can do all things. Mm -hmm. Lord, you said that we look to the hill which comes our help. Lord, they need you right now, God. They are powerless without you, Lord. So I ask you to move by your family, your spirit. And look upon her as daughter, oh God. Strengthen her right now, God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, you said that if we abide in you, and you abide in us, and what's that we ask in Jesus' name, it shall come to pass. So, Lord, I ask you to move right now and touch their heart, God. Touch it like never before, God. Let your spirit reign upon them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard his cry. So we crying out for mercy this day, God. We crying out for, to you, oh God. We ask you to have your way in Jesus' name. And Lord, we ask you to strengthen our paths, oh God. Give us a heart to receive the word, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And by faith it kind of done. Amen. Mm -hmm. You ought to give God a hand, praise. Next we will have reflections by Tawanda Snape. I can see Greg now cruising through Newberry, driving slow in the baby blue Bonneville. Do y'all recall that? Because that's how cool he was. To know Greg, he was a humble person. I never heard him complain. He was that type of person that if my grandmother needed to go to the doctor, he would be the one who would do it. 
he would wait on them and help them out. And actually, when we had an aunt to go to the nursing home, the nurse said, who is Greg? Because she just called on him all night long because that's what Aunt Willa Mae did because she knew that she could count on him. A lot of people may not have realized, you know, how nice of a person he was because he was to himself. I never seen him angry. And, you know, I have to say that when his health started to decline, he never wanted help. He always wanted to do things his way. I will talk to him about maybe some things that we can try to do or some specialists he may could see. And he said, no. He said, I'm doing the best I can the way I know how. I'm good. I don't, I don't need help. And that was just the kind of person that he was. So I asked that, you know, we try not to remember the sad things, but remember the good times Amen. about Greg Amen. because he was truly a good person. And I'm sure that now he's at peace. Amen. Amen. Next we'll have a solo by Deacon Lewis Sims, and then the next voice you'll hear after that will be Reverend Samuel Robinson with words of comfort. Oh, while I'm on earth, 
the feet of Johnny. I want Jesus just to walk with me. Well, you walk with my mother. Please walk with me. I know you walk with my mother. Lord, walk with me. Oh, while I'm on this, this Jesus journey, I want Jesus just to walk with me. It is for me, Patty Lee. Come to come to. As you say, no days. There's a word from the Lord. At all times, you get times of bad times, people need encouragement. I want to say to the Sue and Hunter family, remember, God is always in charge. Yes, he is. To those who already been part of the service of the scripture, the prayers, and the song by Dick and Sam, we thank you. I got to call a few minutes ago. That Greg had pays, and I'm going to tell you what I said to myself. Thank God it's finished. See, y'all don't know Greg's story. Y'all know for 10 or 12 years, 10 or 11, 12 years, or amen. Amen. But when God said that's a no, I wish I had some witness now. Amen. Amen. And I, I was pointing coming on the road and said, Lord, what shall I use for a thing? And he gave me a thing and I want it's gonna be called by names. The thing will be Gregory is finished. One day in this life, God will say Sammy, come on now, it's finished. If want you to hear my voice one day, it's going to be finished. For it is a And then, the judgment. Amen. To the honor family, the super family, we thank you all for being there for great. You know, sometimes when somebody, nobody kills, God's always going to have a ram in the bush. Amen. Amen. You never travel all alone when it seems to be nobody. God will take care of you. I have a scripture when I'm giving the Old Testament, one of, one of my favorites. A life about a man that was a righteous man. <laughs> But he had sickness, and then he had to die. So let's look over the book of Job, chapter number 14. A man that's one of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. He comes forth as a flower. Put down the first flows away as a shutter. And you can't snuff. Amen. Verse number five says, Seeing his days 
Grigsby's are the tremor in the number of months are within thee that has appointed him bound that he cannot pay. Man, bring us six turn from him, he that may rest until he shall accomplish as a holiday in his days. Verse number 10. Amen. When man dies, and ways are yet, ways are waiting. Yet he gains up again as he goes. And where is he? Also over there in uh, Thessalonians. Chapter number five. For well, we know that if this earth that tabernacle is dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made by the hand of man. That's good news. That's good news. For those verses I want to read during the seminary. No more. Be mentally or physically conditioned. Nothing can really stop death. Death is coming sooner or later. You might be healthy today. You might be physically fit. I had my own six month exam on Monday. The doctor reports say I'm doing good. But I'm still in the hands of the law. Are y'all hear me? Amen. Amen. And we don't understand why something ain't happening in life. We don't understand why some God allowed us to suffer, and some suffer not. As we go down to the Bible, name was a man that God healed. But then Naaman had to die. Amen? The Bible said us a man that had been lame. I'm talking about physical condition. That's right. For 38 long years, longer than zero. Okay? But what? He soon lady get down. There's a point of a man who wants to die. And then it just went. Hezekiah was the king. Amen? The sooner or later, God gave him 15 more years. We are living on borrowed time. Yes, God does not have to allow the blessing to be in the number of this time. Yes, but thank God he did. Yes. We get back to my text. Joe was a God fair man. Mm -hmm. And Joe say, if a man die, shall he live again? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Man. He said, we're born a few days. These days are full of trouble. We have some good days, bad days, lonely days. You have friends come and friends go. Huh? But I had Joe said it's full of trouble. Hmm? I will look on the obituary and I saw Gregor stand aside by his grandmother, Miss Ruth Hunter. Amen. Within time brought about changes. Only God knows. Beginning and the end. But Job said, a man is a few days and full of trouble. 
it comes forth like a flower, and then we soon fade away. Amen. Amen. Joe and his writing. Joe had friends to come. I'm sure there was some when Joe was able to get around. There was some he had some friends. But time, friends would drift away. Right. Amen. But God, let me somebody. You'll be there when all friends are gone. God will be right there with you. Can I get witness? I said, God will be right there with you. Amen. The Bible says, Joe took sick. His friends heard about it. They came, sat down, and looked upon Joe. But you know, sometime in life, there's something we don't understand. But the Lord knows, let us sing a song today. We shall all understand it. In the sweet, but I wish I had it with you. My, my. Joe, being a man of God. Well, one day Joe too took sick. His friend came. They put along with Joe. Joe heard the conversation. They wanted to make Joe doctor though. When Joe began to read his read in God's word, I heard Joe say, Well, I heard all been said. I heard all been done. I heard, but I know one day I gotta leave him. But until that time comes, I'm gonna wait. Until a chain do come. Yeah. Over ten years ago, when Gregory took down the sea, mm. all he could do was wait, wait. until the chain come. Yeah. I want to tell you as I close my text. One is our days, my day coming. Mm -hmm. Your day coming too. We got to wait on the road. Yeah. But I'm so glad. When this life is all over, there's another home. Not made by the hand of rain. There's a place over yonder. Where every day will be a day of joy. No more sickness. No more pain. No more suffering. No more heartache. Let me say this in our close rain message. Life. Even in Gregory's, and the Duchess came in, saw everything, shut it down. Then the doctors had to wait on her, the corner to come. Then after the corner come, then my chisels come, to home, right? But that's phase number one. In a few minutes, we're going to say ash to ash. Are y'all hear me? Dust to dust. Amen? And we'll put way down in the green. But the doctors came in. Are y'all hit me here? Oh, <laughs> Amen. The corner came over. The mortician came over. But I heard him say, one of these old days, Gabriel was going to sound his trumpet, huh? And at the sound of the trumpet, the dead across your rise face. I wish I had it, huh? I say to you, wait on the Lord, and he shall renew that strength. Great strength now. All little sufferings all over. I want to sit up here and keep the faith. Trust God. My day coming, your day coming. Amen. Amen. Mortician.
just before we have the committal, we have a presentation we want to give on behalf of the F.B. Pratt and Son Funeral Home. It's a poem entitled, No Bondage. You have answered the call to search no more, and now your spirit is free to soar, no earthly bondage anymore. Your freedom has come, and our healing will take place through an all-wise God who freely gives his loving comfort, his mercy, and his grace. And now that your spirit is free to soar, no earthly bondage anymore. And this is presented in loving memory of Mr. Gregory as Hunter, October 14th, 1967, March 15th, 2021, by the F.B. Pratt and Son Funeral Home. Again, we want to say to this family and to all the loved ones and friends, we want to first of all say that we're honored to be able to assist you during this time of transition of your loved one. We pray that even after today, if there's anything that we can do for you, please feel free to contact us in that manner. It has been our duty and our honor to render services to you during this time. Um, at that, we will proceed now with our committal service. In the book of 1 Corinthians and the 15th chapter, you find these words recorded. Now I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I will show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. For as much as has pleased Almighty God in his wise providence, to receive out of this world unto himself the soul of our deceased brother, we therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. At this time we will prepare for our closing prayer and benediction again. We say to this family, may God continue to be with you. You are not alone, for he told us in his word that he would send a comforter for times just as these. So know that if you lean and depend on him, sooner or later, everything will be all right. Let us now close in our closing prayer and our benediction. Gracious Father, now as we come in this moment, we thank you. We thank you, Father God, for the life of Brother Greg Hunter. We thank you for his family, his friends, these loved ones who have gathered to celebrate his life on today, but not today only. But his spirit lives on through those who he has touched, God. So now, God, we pray that you strengthen them in this time of need. Give them what it is that they're standing in the need of. God, we pray now that as we prepare to leave from this graveside position, but never from your presence, keep us in your good graces and keep your heavenly arms wrapped round about us. And God, we'll be more than careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And now unto him who is able to present us faultless before the only wise God, be majesty, dominion, power, and glory, both now and forever. And all of God's people said amen. Amen, amen again. Amen. amen once more. Amen. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you.